if y'all new, man, y'all already know, man. Make sure y'all sub up, man. Sub up. End of the year, man. We trying to get 10K subs, man. So, uh, you know, that's all I care about, man. I don't really care for the likes, comment. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Dislike, like, whatever, bro. Make sure y'all sub up. Um, yeah, we got a couple more days to hit this 10K, man. If not, it's all good, bro. I grind. You know, I'm going, the grind don't stop, man. I'm definitely going to hit it next year for sure. All right, man. Further ado, let's get it, man. We got Snoop Dogg credit Tupac for inspiring his PIP image. Now, look, y'all. I did, bro. Snoop Dogg and um, it was Mount Ro uh, Restmore. Bro, they blocked my full album reaction, so, so I might have to drop the, the, uh, I might have to go ahead and drop the single. Snoop Dogg went crazy. All right, man. Let's get. Let's see what uh what you say about Tupac, man. Like I said, man. One thing you gotta learn is is from the OGs, and I love uh learning from the OGs, from Tupac and Snoop, man. Uncle Snoop. Tupac for teaching him how to become a star. I'm Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Snoop Dogg is one of the most famous, not to mention marketable, rappers on the planet. But Snoop may not have become the star that he is today if it wasn't for Tupac. Snoop appeared. Facts. If it wasn't for Eminem, uh, 50 Cent would never have been famous. That's the latest guest on the 85 Cause, South. Because Snoop and 50 literally the most popular, like, you know what I'm saying? Most popular. When It's like... Y'all know how, like, Shaq be, you know how Shaq is most popular because he know he's the most, you know, famous big man. It's just, that's how Snoop Dogg and 50 is, bro. They so famous. Comedy show where he explained how his former death row label mate taught him how to become a star, beginning with encouraging him to elevate his style and embrace his pimp persona. I'm still dressing like a n from the hood. Khakis, chucks, and like, we got a meeting. I'm like, what's happening? Me and you finna have a meeting. The little homies can't show up. Can't show up. It's just me and you, general to general. Mm. So he like, man, we stepping our game up and shit. Is this? We gotta change your look, Snoop Dogg. Nigga. You a pimp, nigga. The bitches love you. Nigga. You fly, nigga. What's? You gotta start showing your your fly side. Nigga. I'm gonna get you suited up. Nigga. I'm gonna call this nigga Deion Scott. Get your suits <laughs> fitted and all that shit. Nigga. Get your hair laid. Nigga. Get your nails done, nigga. Bruh. Like I said, man, I, I love Snoop Dogg, man. I rock with Snoop Dogg. And to this day, to this, to this, to this day, bro, I like anything he dropped, man, I listen to it, bro. All right? Because, bro, Snoop Dogg literally. Now, like, when I, when I mean only Snoop Dogg is literally the only guy who's still dropping music. And, and, his, and his era is over with. Like, bro. He in a new era, bro. This is the new era that everybody want to be a gangster, bro. Like, bro, Snoop Dogg era is like, bro, like, same thing with Nas and Ice Cube and Two Shorts. They, I, they Fit so and all that shit, man. Get your hair laid, nigga. Get your nails done, nigga. Put some pimping on screen, nigga. Snoop admitted he initially felt uncomfortable wearing such unfamiliar clothes, which were on full display in his and Tupac's Two of America's Most Wanted video in 1996, until he grew into his new wardrobe and understood the lesson that Tupac was trying to teach him. Dress me up in suits, uh, Louis Vuitton, go shit I couldn't even spell, cuz, and pronounce. All this Italian shit. Just look at how I'm standing next to cuz when I'm wearing it. I'm I'm like, I'm trying to figure it out. Right, right, right. But he already got it. He like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that motherfucker like. <laughs> man, R A, R A. R P Tupac, man. Hey, man, hey, Snoop, I need that jacket, bro. That death row record. <laughs> <laughs> Right, 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 right. I mean, jacket suits and t-shirt, regular shit. This shit right. is like four. I'm like, do I look right? right. Nigga, I hope I don't look sweet, nigga. Right, right, right. These Put your shoulders down. Right, right. <laughs> Are you sure I'm supposed to have this poured out? Nigga, right, hold right, on. Right. Nigga, wait a minute. So then once I got comfortable with it, then it was like, okay, this nigga teaching me how to be a star. Right. Like levels and layers. Yeah. We know you gangster, dog. See? But can you... Hey, see? This generation, bro, nobody do that, bro. If, if this generation, the if as soon as you say something, they gonna hate you. They don't like you or they don't wanna hang with you. All you wanna do is put people on. 
this generation is so weird. A lot of people think you think you know it all. Like, bro, I'm trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you. I didn't have to do this. Tupac didn't have to do this to Snoop. All he wanted to do is help him become a star what he is. All his goal is be if this how this how the game's supposed to go. Alright? Bro, it's it's about putting your 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 guys on. It doesn't matter if, it it doesn't matter if he famous than you or you famous than him. Bro, be, you know, be smart. Like, bro, y'all got to take advantage, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this generation, all that I got to say is this generation messed up, man. I swear, if you tell somebody to do this, bro, they 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 don't like you or they feeling like you you uh you you not my daddy and you know, I mean, bro. Telling you this generation all weird now, man. Hold on, nigga, wait a minute. So then once I got comfortable with it, then it was like, okay, this nigga teaching me how to be a star. Right. Like yeah. levels and layers. Yeah. We know you gangster dog, but can you go higher than that? What if a nigga call you to be in a movie where they want you to be a lawyer? All right. What if a nigga wants you to be a detective? Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, Tupac smart, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a like, you know what I'm saying, a uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, a young thug or or a gentleman thug, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wear a suit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't wear a suit in, in, in so long. I need to start buying me. Some. I gotta get me some. Tupac star quality. Look at that boy. That boy Tupac out there. Ooh. Hey, that boy Tupac fresh, man. No Dog care. recalled hitting the studio with him shortly after he was released from prison in 1995 and witnessing his relentless work ethic firsthand. We in the studio the first couple of nights he get out. I got a room, he got a room. We make a song. We in that motherfucker just listening to it for like four hours. Niggas got bitches up in there, niggas. This shit banging. Right. We go in this nigga room. He on his fifth song. This nigga make a song. <laughs> hey, man. Hard worker, bro. This is why. I, okay, I see why people love Tupac now. Now I understand. You gotta listen with Snoop Dogg, man. Snoop Dogg is probably the one, could be the only rapper. Like, if you want to get to like learn for Tupac, bro, Snoop Dogg got all the answers because he he the only one closer to Tupac. You know, bro. He on his fifth song. Hey, no way. We and that motherfucker just listening to it for like four hours. Niggas got bitches up in there, niggas. This shit banging. Right. We go in this nigga room. He on his fifth song. This nigga make a song. As soon as it go off, pull the next beat up. <coughs> ain't finna be listening to that shit. That's the engineer job to mix that shit. Next song. Snoop went on to explain how Tupac would often ask whoever was in the room to contribute a verse or play a beat, calling him resourceful and a loving mother in the studio. Not, not one of them niggas that's like in the studio that be like, man, get all these niggas out of here. Like, he entertained that shit. Like, I wasn't a star right. till I was next to him. He showed me how to be a star. Right. Like, real shit. Right. Like, this. I'm telling you, bro. This generation all messed up, man. Nowadays, you you tell somebody to do this, bro. They, they, they know they not. They not rocking with you. Like I said, man, you 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 think you know it all. All I'm trying to do is help you. See? Two... Uh, Tupac see the potential in Snoop Dogg. But shout out to Snoop Dogg for not being weird. Because, bruh, if that would be me and you trying to put me on, bro, I, bro I'm not finna sit here and not finna argue with you. I'm gonna listen. Hold the plan right. Or you would like, you know what? Let's talk it out. Like, man to man. People don't talk it out no more, bruh. People always argue, think you know it, bro. Nobody do not talk at all. Talk it out, man. I was next to him. He showed me how to be a star. Right. Like real shit. Right. Like this nigga was a star. Snoop Dogg was famous. Right. But I didn't know how to be a star. This nigga showed me how to be a star. Snoop previously reflected on his relationship with Tupac during an appearance on Logan Paul's Impulsive podcast in May, revealing that he fainted when he visited the late rapper in the hospital following the September 1996 shooting that led to his death. While we drive to Vegas, to see Pac, we, we go to Suge's house yep, first. Yep. Yeah. So we haven't even seen Pac. Yep. We just talking to Suge, and he got the head wrapped up, and he oh telling us God. what happened, and, you know, Pac going to be all right. He going to pull through. You know, he got shot nine. This man Snoop is fresh, bro. What? Hey, that outfit is hard. 
Snoop, bro. Oh, you got to sell just that. We talking to Suge, and he got the head wrapped up, and he, he oh telling us God. what happened, and, you know, Pac going to be all right. He going to pull through. You know, he got shot nine times before. He going to be all right. He going to hit me in the head. And so we feeling like it's going to be all right until we go to the hospital and see that it ain't all right. He got tubes in him, and it's like, when I walked in, I could just feel like he wasn't even there. And I fainted. Then his mother, you know, got me up and walked me in the bathroom and had a conversation with me about being strong. So what do you think about Snoop revealing that Tupac is actually the one who taught him how to be a star? Hey, man, that's, that's, if your homies can do that, bro, and, and, and don't put your own trying to be, become one of the greatest you can be, he's not your homie. That just lets you know how real Tupac is, and that lets you know how real Snoop Dogg was. Because, like I said, man, a lot of people can do what Tupac doing, but at Snoop Dogg's, uh, like, situation, a lot of people fold. A lot of people fold. Hey, man, RP Tupac, man, like I said, bro. That's why uh, Snoop Dogg forever going to be one of the greatest. I got uh, for greatest all time, I got him right under Ice Cube, bro. I got Tupac, Biggie, number one, like best rapper of all time, even though, even though I didn't really, like, I, even though I didn't really listen too much Tupac, I got to put Tupac. Even though I didn't really listen too much Biggie, I'm going to put Biggie, all right? But Ice Cube is my dog. I got Ice Cube second. That's my list. Then I got Snoop Dogg behind Ice Cube. But other than that, man, that's it, man. That's it for that. I just want to see what Snoop Dogg say about Tupac uh, so I can learn about Tupac and learn about Snoop Dogg. Um, you got to listen to the OGs, man. This generation, everything all messed up, man. Everybody want to kill instead of, you know, everybody want to turn their back on you and snitch and instead of just keep it real. It's not really hard. I'm out, man.